Amp in Rutland gives young women opportunities to learn about different careers each summer at the Mint Maker Space. Our Rutland Bureau Chief Connor Olathorne takes a closer look at the Rosie's Girls. A camp run by women helping girls gain interest in their next steps. That's the goal of Rosie's Girls this summer, getting more girls interested in the STEM fields. It's really important. It shows me like how to do things and how to behave with all of these tools and with teammates. Audrey Valadez will be heading back to Mill River Union High School in the fall. But first, she's welding, cutting, and hammering her way through the summer at the Mint Makerspace. Throughout the Rosie's Girls Camp, counselors say they challenge 6th through 8th grade girls to improve skills that help problem solving in the future. It can also help them to gain confidence in themselves during a time that organizers say is critical. So having that like safe and, and brave space to both figure out who you are and where you want to be and what are the emotions I'm navigating, this covers all of it. I think that's the biggest takeaway from this camp is seeing from day one being so scared to even touch the chop saw to like, I've got this, step away, I can do it. It's building confidence in them outside of the things that society says that they need to be confident in. In the camp's third year at the Mint, giving girls a challenge while opening up their eyes to future careers is a key selling point for both campers and organizers. We've talked about a lot of STEM, and I was already kind of interested in this, but this really kind of inspired me to keep going with it. And what we hope from this program is that we at least spark an interest and a curiosity in these industries, and so that they can get into this building and see all the different makers and see all the different opportunities. Run by women and high school staff, Kim Griffin of the Mint says making sure young girls knows there's a pathway for them in their future starts with who's giving them a helping hand. When I was this age and when I was a middle schooler, I didn't have female representation. When I was looking to what is my career going to be, I didn't have role models. Purely representation alone to be for the young women and gender expansive youth to see that leadership is huge. Vermont Works for Women says they'll hold another camp here in Rutland starting July 22nd, as well as other Rosie's Girls camps around the state through August. Reporting in Rutland, Connor Olathorne, Channel 3 News. Connor, thank you.